Hello, this is Storyer with my co-hosts Lord Marvin and Arthenix, and we are playing multiplayer EU4. This is the second episode. I am playing as Tuscany, and my co-hosts are playing as Scotland and Brandenburg. Please introduce yourselves. Hi, this is Arthenix. I'm playing as Scotland. We uh, I started off with a quick no CB war against. Uh, East Frisia and annex them. I have a plan. I haven't revealed it yet, but some of you probably am already guessing what I'm planning. Greetings, everyone. I am Lord Malvern, and I'm currently getting my ass kicked by a triumvirate of Hungary, the Livonian Order, and the Teutonic Order. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to get Bohemia to join in. Uh, they're currently in debt, but I think they'll they'll come around pretty soon. It's just right now they have a negative four reasons for joining in. So, mm. all right. So, should we unpause? All right, I'm unpausing. Okay, unpaused. Here we go. Yes, the Pope is getting kicked. <laughs> you guys are both in wars. Uh, I, I have a. I'm, I'm going to be at peace for at least. Let's see, it's fourteen forty-seven. Two and a half more years. So, hopefully, only one more episode. <laughs> I am chasing the papal army around Italy. <laughs> they still have one province in France, but uh, my plan is to vassalize them, not conquer them, because you get very negative modifiers for conquering Rome. So I think I might just uh, let uh, let uh, the war score increase while I occupy those two provinces. And maybe that will be enough. All right, well... Uh... Now Bohemia won't join because uh, war score is less than twenty five percent. So, <laughs> oh, uh, you might be in trouble. What's yeah. the force balance? All right. Uh, I currently have uh, question marks for for the uh, Teutonic Order, Hungary, Livonian Order, and Mecklenburg. We have uh, about fifteen fifteen hundred men at the moment. On my side. Uh, yeah, and uh, I have <laughs> I I'm the one that has all the all the troops. So, oh, ouch. Yeah, maybe you can if maybe you can uh, surrender by giving someone else's province, for instance, give Plotsk to the Teutonic Order if you want to get out of the war. That would not be a bad idea. Let's see yeah. if they would actually uh see if they'll do it. Go along with that, yeah. It's still pretty uh, uh, early in the war, so they probably won't but Yeah. Yeah, they are uh What do they what, what do they ask for if you hit suggest offer? Uh it's uh currently they're not willing to accept any offers right now. Oh. Mm. If you can hold out long enough, maybe you'll get away with the concession. Yeah, hopefully. You said that the war score was less than minus 25%. That's why Bohemia won't join? Yeah, it's, it's currently at negative 36%. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. Well, well, I, I, be, mm. I didn't realize but, Poland was so weak at the start of the game. <laughs> I mean, they are they are quite strong because they have Mazovia and Moldavia, but they can't hold its own against the Teutonic Order and Hungary both. Because uh, usually they get the personal union with Lithuania, but uh, this time they don't have it. Lithuania is the major military force. They have like 30,000 troops or more. Well, in any case, at least I'm weakening Poland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this this was all planned to get Poland unable to get a personal union with Lithuania and to kick their ass quickly. Yeah. Because, you know, if Poland gets an E in the meantime, they won't be able to form the union. Right. Let's see if they actually do have an heir yet. Nope, they don't have an heir yet. That's right, they start on that interregnium thing. Yeah. Is that is that new in uh, in uh, as of Art of War? Because I don't think I remember seeing that before. Mm, no, uh, no. Um, it it was there before, and uh, Res Publica introduced the elective monarchy, which is actually quite a nifty government type because you can get uh, personal unions quite easily with that one. Um, 
And actually, I don't know if you knew that, but before the time of the game start, Poland had a personal union with Hungary, but the king was uh, was killed, and that's why they're they are in interregnum. I did not know that. Uh, most of my European history I've learned from Europa Universalis, <laughs> believe it or not, <laughs> mainly from Europa Universalis two because that was the one that had all the historical events. But uh... yeah, they were quite funny sometimes. For instance, as Poland, I had all of Bohemia sieged, and then it all flipped to Austria just momentarily. The best, uh, but um, EU four is great because there is no winning easy strategy in EU four. It was vassalize everyone. In EU3, it was personal unions all the way, and here it's not that easy. Yeah. Um, I, I was not as definitely not... I, I didn't actually like EU3 that much. Um, I loved EU2. I, I just couldn't get into EU3 for whatever reason. My least favorite game of the series. Mm -hmm. uh, but I love EU4. It's been, uh, it's been much better. I will interrupt you for a little bit. My awesome leader just died. Aww. A bit unfortunate. Oh. Well, you had him for three years. That's still quite a few more uh, <laughs> monarch points than I have. I still don't have an heir, uh, which is troubling. Well, I am a republic, but I will be probably switching to a kingdom later. I still have just a Scottish noble secedes to the throne, though. But uh, but it is a little bit disconcerting not to have an heir. Let's see if I can vassalize the pope. Not yet. Oh, uh, one fun fact. You get negative diplomatic reputation for vassalizing the papal state, but I think I have to do it anyway. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, before I, uh, before we, we uh, ended the last episode, I, uh, I sent a diplomatic insult to the Pope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because that's... Um, one of the one of the things that helps determine whether or not the the reformation occurs is if you have uh, in your in your countries if you have negative um opinion a negative opinion with the papal state <clears throat> so oh, I didn't know that yeah actually I am thinking about mm, getting in uh, a reformed religion I'm still not sure about that if I succeed with vassalizing the Pope, that's my tiny little plan, I will get a lot of my, a lot more papal influence, because it is influenced by relations with the Pope. And I will keep him at plus 200, if he's my vassal. Sure, yeah, that totally makes sense. Okay, should I ally France? Should I ally France? What do you guys do uh, in the papal game? Do you go for control of the papacy, or do you just spend the points on stability? Uh, I don't have a good answer. I uh, I haven't played in uh, uh, too many Catholic countries since that um, since that new papal me mechanics are introduced in my other Let's Play series. I have been buying up papal influence, but I kind of just started with that, so I'm not sure how it's going to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in in my current uh, Denmark campaign, I'm uh, I, I've been trying to to get a hold of the papal control uh, papal controller seat, and it, it is pretty difficult for me, even though I have like seven cardinals and. Uh, <laughs> it basically, what happens is is I forget to forget to add influence to it and. Uh, well, when I, you know, of course, as soon as I forget about it, the Pope dies and uh, somebody else gets the gets the control. <laughs> I have, a, I, was, hmm? I have a uh, currently I'm I have a petition for redress in East Frisia, so I'm frantically moving my army back there before it, uh, hopefully before the event auto fires. Um, what's what's the other option for that? Lose twenty five prestige. Oh. Do you need prestige at the moment? Uh, I hate losing prestige. Maybe it's a personal quirk of mine, but I hate... I, I want to be at maximum prestige as soon as possible. All right, I've had two months of morale recovery. I should be able to beat these guys now. I usually don't care about prestige too much unless I'm running a personal union. I don't know. I really like prestige. It's more mer it's more trade power. It's more army yeah, morale. It's it's just really good. 
All right, we beat the rebels. Oh. I am kind of locked in Italy because neither Ferrara, Ferrara nor Modena will give me military access. And my uh, ships are blockaded by the Pope. So I am who's Italy the... locked. Oh. Well, who's, is the Pope allied with somebody you can't get to or something? Um, Pope has one province in France. Oh, so I'm just that's right. I forgot about waiting, Avignon. Waiting for uh, my war score to go up because I'm controlling the war goal. That might be enough because I'm, I intend to vassalize the Pope and take Romania, Romania, Romania from him. I will get a lot of aggressive expansion though, but uh, that, this limits my conquest in Italy in the foreseeable future. How are you doing, Lord Malvern, with your war? Uh, well, let's see here. It looks like uh, looks like uh, Hungary and uh, Mecklenburg and the Teutonic Order are all carpet sieging uh, Poland. I have been forced to retreat to um, let's see here, P uh, Podole. In, in the southeast corner mm -hmm. of Poland because they came and attacked me in <clears throat> Brunswick. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> so it's, it's not going too good. Oh. Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think you can pull out? I've been trying to, to offer them peace, but uh, they, they just, uh, they're just not willing to accept terms yet. It's uh, a negative 66 war score at the moment, and... Uh, I understand. Yeah, so I, I'm wondering if they are not going to be willing for for a while here. They're probably going to want to take a bunch of my land. If I had mm, to guess, try to, try to give them Poland's land. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's that's the plan. I'm I'm hoping I can. Uh, right now, Hungary is sieging a bunch of uh, Poland's land, and. Uh, Let's see here. Yeah, the only okay. They they just uh, they just um, Teutonic Order just got a bunch of Poland's land here. Uh, Hungary gifted it to them or uh, transferred the siege to them. Mm -hmm. So so uh, with any luck here, uh, hopefully I can actually sate uh, sate the Teutonic Order with uh, with some of this land here. <laughs> just feed feed the feed the bear and uh, run away. Mm. Or Let's see, drop drop the food and run away. <laughs> okay, so I'm currently just sitting there waiting for my war score to go up, my war score to go up because of the war goal. But I'm wondering, should I align with France or Austria? I have mm, the possibility to do either of them. Any thoughts on that? Um, well, you kind of, you know, it's, it's interesting. You kind of have to pick one. They always wind up rivaling mm -hmm. with each other. In Italy, I would tend to favor Austria usually uh, just because, um, well, I mean, I guess it kind of depends. Are you planning on going after Austria? If you are, then you want to rival France. Otherwise, Austria tends to be more helpful because... As the emperor, they automatically have military access through the whole empire when they're at war, so mm -hmm. they can always get to you. Uh, France sometimes can't. What I'm thinking is that my main enemies will be in northern Italy, um, at least for the foreseeable future, so either one is all right. Yeah, I mean, either one is fine. France is definitely going to attack Savoy at some point, so uh, that's... Mm -hmm. If if you're planning on uh, if you're planning on you, you can sometimes jump on board with that or or uh, it, it's easy to get them into a war with Savoy if you're planning on going after them. Yeah, I guess so. Six more months and then this is finally going to be done. Okay, the Pope still doesn't want to become my vassal. It's a pity because I was actually planning, um, if I could get military access, I was actually planning on attacking Ragusa. Because I already have a claim from Ancona. But now I can't leave Italy. But uh, that's minor trouble compared to what Lord Marvin is facing, so. Yeah, well, I'm, uh, I'm right now I'm sieging down, uh, Hungary's uh, provinces, since they seem to have completely abandoned their land, their territory, and they don't seem to be heading this direction. So, you know, maybe I can, 
I can turn this around a little bit and uh, at least get Hungary out of the war. If I can is get Brunswick- Hungary... Mm-hmm. If I can is get Brunswick hung- your ally? <laughs> Sorry, okay. Uh, is Brunswick your ally? Uh, Brunswick is my ally, yeah. Yes. Okay. And so if I if I can get Hungary out of the war, they're they're the ones that have all the all the you know all the troops really in in this other in this uh in, on the on the enemy side. So if um if I can get them out, I I might stand a chance actually, potentially, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Potentially, maybe, hopefully, maybe not. Well, Teutonic Order has all of the has all of. There must be the war leader, right? Because Hungary's given them all of the siege provinces. Yeah. So they will keep the war score anyway. They'll they're keep the war un- score, but you might be able to get the provinces back afterwards. They're yeah. still unwilling to accept anything. Yeah, just give me a second. I uh, they actually came. They actually found me. Ah, there we go. Okay. I'm gonna retreat further into Hungarian territory. I'm sure that won't uh, come to bite me. All right. Uh, yeah, they're still not willing to uh, take any any uh, demands yet. So they, they want, like, negative 100 war score with me. They, w- they want to break me. That's a bit harsh. Yeah. It's not a very eventful episode in, on my side of the globe because uh, I'm just waiting. Yeah, I'm waiting uh, one more month. Or no, 28th of June. Yeah, one, one, one and a half more months. <laughs> I can finally be done with this waiting. Oh, I forgot. I actually allied Milan. Can you call them in? No, uh, I, I don't really... Uh... I can't because they like uh, the Pope and um, they have a defensive attitude towards us. Oh. All right. Well, there go oh, my men. Damn. Pope just allied Switzerland, uh, but I have ninety percent war score, so they probably won't accept a call a call to arms. Okay. So, so here is uh, here is what the Teutonic Order wants for me. They want me to give them war reparations. They want me to. Do you want to pause give, it while we while we listen to this? Yeah, let's let's yeah. pause. Yeah, pause. Yeah. Okay, so they want me to give them uh, <clears throat> war reparations, which is fine. Uh, they want me to cede Polish territory to them. Uh, Plock and uh, let's see here it starts with an L. Li- uh, Lex- I can read it for you if you want. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wotsk and Wenchita is the, are the these the two ones? Yeah. Uh, they want me to annul my treaties with Poland and Mo- Bohemia, and they want to pay. Uh, want me to pay them seven ducats. Wow, that's a steal! <laughs> you should totally <laughs> accept that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're still uh, in the so, game. <laughs> exactly. So the question is: uh, do, Are you able to get any new allies? Can you ally Denmark or Austria later? Uh, let's see here. I could probably ally Austria. I I, I think we're still friendly. Yeah, I, I think I'll I'll take this this deal since I, I tried to give them more land in exchange for me keeping my alliance with uh, um, <laughs> more of Poland's territory in exchange for me keeping Bohemia. But uh, you don't have to care about Poland anymore because they have a king and an heir now, so they won't be able to get their personal union anymore. So they are much weaker. Ah, All fantastic! Right. Let's unpause. Right. I'll send out send out the offer then. All right, I'm gonna unpause. All right, now, now to begin uh, the long uh, road to recovery here. I was thinking about uh, how uh, how valuable is Den- uh, Denmark is, but uh, unfortunately, they are currently fighting Sweden, so Sweden is trying to get independence. Yeah, so they're not that good anymore. Oh. Arthonex, you have married Austria. I have. Can you guess what I'm doing yet? 
I was thinking about uh, you trying to get into the Holy Roman Empire. Bingo! Oh, because uh, East Frisia wasn't a member of the Empire. East right. Frisia is not a member of the Empire, yes. And Aren't you too big to, uh, to enter the Empire? Didn't, don't you have too much tax and base tax? Um, oh, hang on. I need one more relation with Austria. No, Scotland starts with 22 base tax. Mm -hmm. The maximum you can be and still enter the Holy Roman Empire is... Um, 25. East Frisia is only 2. So you can okay. just do it. Uh... Wait, I'm having two pop-ups at the same time. I'll pause for a while. Okay, one and the other. All right. Hmm. I actually circumvented this limit and joined Holy Roman Empire as Poland by selling provinces to Lithuania when they were under me in the personal union, so that works as well. Uh, okay. All right. I am now in the Holy Roman Empire. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> now we are all in the Empire. We are all in the Empire. Minus Hello Imperial Integrity. Uh, are we good? The timer went off about a minute ago, so I wanted to okay. fix that. I, I think I'm we're good. fine. Yeah. So I started, so I'll finish it. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and check out all the other co hosts. Uh, we will all put links in the video description below. And I hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye. bye. Take care. <laughs>